And uh, I see you you mentioned the the accountants. Of course, I need to need to ask an accounting question <laughs> um, because this this is one thing that I have noticed compared to say actuaries and accountants. And my brother, being a CA, he always likes to point out is the fact that the CEO positions of a lot of companies are filled by accountants, whereas it's very rare to find an actuary in that top position. Now, is this because actuaries are just too smart and they know that that job comes with too much stress and it's not worth it? Or is there something that, that actuaries just maybe lack a little bit of ambition when it comes to climbing that, that corporate ladder? What, what have you seen in the marketplace and what would you advise to upcoming actuaries? Should we be ambitious and chase those positions or are they a bit, uh, bit like beehives? Like there might be some honey inside, but there's a lot of stings that you're going to get trying to get it. Um, Michael, that definitely is the case around the fact that in chasing those roles, you as an actuary might... Look, I'm not saying anything bad about accountants here, but... Uh, <laughs> no, you can. This is an extra old channel. <laughs> there are often... Some, uh, but, um, no, but seriously, around this question, um, I think that potentially the kind of person that is drawn to being an actuary or becoming an actuary, maybe in the past, more than currently, the kind of person who would want to be an actuary would not necessarily aspire to being a CEO. I do think that things have changed. The youngsters that I'm seeing coming up through the ranks are a very different breed to the older actuaries in insurance companies. And I believe that you will most likely see more actuaries and CEO positions going forward. That is my prediction. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> Kiara, do you see yourself as being CEO one day? Um, right now, my goals are just to get a job. <laughs> Maybe one day in the long term. I think I have a lot to learn um, for now. I think that that is to climb. But I mean, it is something that I would aspire to. But yeah, for now, I think that I'll just climb the ladder and see. And okay. yourself, Michael. So it, it's weird. When, when I was younger, I mean, there was always the big ambition to, you know, be the richest man in the world and, and all that crazy stuff. And that's why when, when people said, you know, you earn a lot as an actuary, I was like, yeah, let's go for it. Um, but then after seeing you know, in Joburg, you learn very quickly, you know, especially with thieves and robbers and stuff, that you can lose wealth, you know, at a, you know, just snapping your fingers. So I kind of realized that there were more important things in life. And it's one of the things uh, Jordan Peterson talks about. In, in his one book where, you know, because people ask him, they say, do you think it's wrong that there's more men in CEO positions than, than women? And Peterson's view as a psychologist, he says, no, that's because women are smarter. He says they understand that the amount you have to sacrifice to get that CEO role, it's not worth it. And he talks about how, you know, once you reach a certain level of salary, in order for your life to change, you know, or go up to the next bracket, you know, to go from like four star hotels to five star to go from eating caviar and, you know, that next thing. It's such a massive jump that you have to do. And it takes so much energy and you have to sacrifice so much family time and side hustles and hobbies to get it that he says it's not, in his view, it's not worth it. So I like that answer because it's a nice way to then reply to the accountants and say, you know, when they're like, oh, we're all the CEOs. I'm like, well, yeah, do you really want to be in that CEO position? Um, but of course there's, it's, I don't know, there, there is a weird thing where, you know, there is that dream or that aspiration to be like a leader in one of these top firms, but it is something that I am starting to see, you know, the fact that CEOs do have a high, you know, turnover rate, um, and you see people age very quickly when they get that role. It's, it's also something to be, okay, what's the long-term implications of taking this role rather than, oh, look at the big short-term perks I'm going to get you know, bigger salary, and uh, it's going to look good on my LinkedIn profile if I say CEO of, of something and something. So, no, it's, it's, it's definitely something that, yeah, like I said, plays at the back of my head and a bit of like a tug of war every now and then, you know, I'm, I'm switching sides. So, so that's why, yeah, I really do appreciate uh, hearing your advice, you know, what, you know, what is the best way to, to move forward. Um, 